Hey guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to the show. No repeats here. A couple commercials, so can't help that. Anyway, um, I'm back to my original um, pouring medium tonight where I'm going to use a combination of um, golden color pouring medium with some glue and some water. Uh, I'm gonna do two tonight. I'm gonna do an eight inch round uh, and do a little experiment, trying to do like a little weird swipe thing um, and get some negative space. And then we'll move on to a 10 by 20 canvas where um, I might just do some uh, either flip cups or flip and drags. So that's the plan. Uh, thanks for all the lovely comments on the last video. Touched my heart. So thank you so, so much. Trolls be damned, right? Um, yeah, anyway, let's get started. Okay guys, I'm gonna start off with uh, just this little eight inch wooden round. Um, show you my colors real quick because I'm using five different brands, wow. So my white is Artist Loft Titanium White. Then I have Amsterdam uh, Turquoise Green right here. And then I have Montmart Vermilion. This is like days of old where I mixed up all my brands. And then I have some Liquitex Heavy Body. This is yellow, orange, uh, Azo right there. And then finally, I have some Senlier, their version of Delft Blue, which is right there. I'm gonna go ahead. So, um, pouring medium, colors, brands, everything will come up at the end of the video for you to capture. Uh, my pouring medium is my tried and true 4A12. So four ounces of water, eight ounces of Golden's color pouring medium in gloss. It comes in matte as well. And then 12 ounces of Elmer's glue wall. Um, one to one ratio. And then I add little bits of pouring medium. Um, until it at least like heavily gloops off of my spoon. And then once it gets to that point, I take and augment it with water until it's like this. I like mine a little thicker, but that's really nice and creamy. Wait, can you see and yummy like this? And I'm going to put a drop of silicone, my spot on, actually that was two. Uh, in each of the colors and give those a mix. And then of course I have my Art Sloth White down on my canvas. And we're just gonna kind of fold that in there like that. That seems good. I got a new torch too to figure out how to use it. All right, so silicone all mixed in. And then my torch is a Kalia. I don't know, got it off of Amazon. It was cheap. Just gonna pop bubbles in my white. And for this first one, I kind of wanted to do a ex little experiment where I'm just going to make a little three ounce cup. I'm not even going to fill this up. So I'm just going to put in a little tiny bit of white at the bottom and then pretty much layer my colors. Well, not even layer, just like a dollop like that in here. In this order. I'm all organized tonight. Just like that. And I'm just gonna flip that little bit. I mean, that's less than an ounce of paint. And we're just gonna put that right there and give that a second to uh, come down. Because it's kind of thick. I'm gonna throw in some, no, I don't need gloves yet. I'm gonna swipe this. I'm gonna swipe I'm not gonna uh, drag it out or anything. I'm gonna just lift the cup up and have a little puddle and then just swipe the little puddle. 
Let's give that a second. See, I can cheat and look into the cup. And just kind of lift this up. And there's my colors. And a nice little thing. Look at that. And maybe put some white on my little palette knife. And just kind of go like that. And then give that a torch. See what we get. Is too much white. I'm gonna wipe off that knife a second and then just take this and drag that out to the end. And if it doesn't work or I hate it, you know what I'll be doing. Alright, let's stretch that all out. Do not want to move. Oh, doesn't want to move. Look at the white breaking up. I haven't even done anything. My white is disintegrating right there. What is that about? That makes me grumpy. You see that? What is that about? Hmm. That's a hot mess right there, y'all. It really is. I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. I'm going to do this again and we'll just flip it into my little white. Yep. Let me see what's in this bottom of this cup. I'm going to go again and I'm going to skip the white and maybe add more color. Do the blue here, put it here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just pouring it in. Do it a little later. I had one in negative space, but there goes that idea. Because that didn't work. And I'm going to be really uh, curious to see if the white breaks up. Actually, I'm not putting white in the cup. So let's just see what happens with these four colors layered. And that was more paint, so that was more like two ounces this time. And give it a little lip. I see a caterpillar, let's wreck it. I'll scoop out the rest of my paint out of the cup. All right, so I'm gonna keep my eye, I'm gonna tilt this a little bit first. And keep my eye on the white and see if it uh, disintegrates or not this time. So I'm just kind of do this. Don't have to go all the way over. Let's give that a torch. This is like a rinky dink torch. I don't know about this torch. Stretch it all out to see what we got. And we'll take it off the sides here. the 
back. Taking off some of the white. All right, straighten it all out. Hold it at the bottom, get my fingers off the side. It's fine. It's just fine. It's not my favorite. This is kind of blah. That's how I feel about it. Not my favorite at all. Um, hmm. I really, really wanted negative space too. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, I like those colors way better. Hold on. Let's not let that run off because I like it. Those colors are pretty. Try to save it before it gets muddy. Let me just see how muddy it is. Or if it's just blended. That's a fine line between those two sometimes. Nah, parts of it are muddy. I did it too quick. All right, that's, I'm doing it over. And what I'm gonna do is, I think my white is a little bit too thick. So I'm going to add a dollop of water to my white and go again. So let me smear that all in so there's no lumps or anything. Take my gloves off. Let me grab, oh, there's my little cup of white, or white, my cup of water. I'm just gonna put like half a teaspoon in this and give this a mix again. I feel like the white was too thick. All right, that's better. Mix it up really well because it'll thicken up. It'll feel all thin. I'm really gonna mix it in there to get the true consistency. All right, that's better. Let's... Yeah, we'll do this again. Leave that sit there. And go again with our colors. Let me test, see if these are too thick too, maybe. No, see, that looks great to me. Yeah. Maybe change up the order a little bit. So, let's go. Let's go green. And then blue. And the orange. Got all these contrasting colors tonight. And the yellow. That was a terrible job. That's okay. I'm not gonna wait long. Because I'm going to take my, my knife, my palette knife to this again. There's my little puddle. Let me scrape out some of the paint. See if I like the way it looks. Not really. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to wipe off my palette knife. As soon as I get a and stuck to my paper towel. I just kind of want to see what happens if I kind of grab some white. I don't want to put white on it again. I'm just going to take some from the actual canvas and swipe over it. Blend those colors. 
something like that. That's a pretty blend. And now the trick will be to see if I get any cells. Better. Let's hold, hope the um, the white holds up. For that side, we'll bring this over. You guys can go off. I don't like that blob of yellow. You can go off and you can go off. <gasps> it did it again, son of a bee. Look at that. What is going on? All right, that's making me mad, y'all. That is making me mad. Why is it doing that? Is that the Artist Loft brand? I don't know what to make of it. I wanna see if I can tilt it off. I really like these cells here on the edge though. That was the thing, it was like, oh, they're so cute. But I'm gonna lose them because that's the only way to get to that rip stuff. Oh, that makes me mad. Maybe I can tilt down this way. Yep, let's do that, ha ha ha. I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna force the issue. And then bring this back up. All right, so we got rid of, let me stare at this a second. Okay, this I'm liking much, much better. Still see a little bit of rip Got a little bit of wonky cells here. Love this, like this. I'm kind of gonna go ahead and wipe off my fingers and torch this little area here, see if I can get some little cells to pop up. And then I'm gonna take this wonky part down again and hopefully leave it. Um, Cause that's wicked pretty. right in here and right in there. They're not gonna get very big, but. Put the weight of the paint over by my thumb here so I can go up with that side a little bit. It's gonna be slow going now. It's gonna look different than the other side, but that's okay and then bring this down. Get rid of this uh, ripped white again. There's a will, there's a way. We will get around it. So I'm gonna pour off some of this white and make like a U-shaped design, I think. Would look nice. I'm gonna get rid of as much of the white as I can. Not the white on the, not the plain white, the other white. Let's take this over this way. We'll leave the green on the edge. Well, I want to get rid of some on this edge here. Let me stare at this. Yep, I like it. That's cool. Ta-da! That was hard. It wasn't supposed to be that hard. It was supposed to be like all easy. Um, shoot, and I have like, I have a quarter cup of white left too. And now I don't want to use it. I want to switch to my Amsterdam, I think. But um, let me clean up. I'm gonna put him to the side. I'm gonna grab a bigger canvas, like a 10 by 20. Um, and we'll do this on a bigger canvas. That was that was my tester. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. Okay, so here's the deal. So I put it off to the side, and then I went to get my white, and then I was staring at it, 
And no matter what I do, it's just unbalanced. It needs another swoop. It needs something to go up the other way. So, at the risk of losing it, it's only paint. I mean, it's just paint. It's not like it's, you know, I'm painting the Sistine Chapel or something. So, I'm just gonna put drops of color on here. And then we're gonna swipe this. So I'm just gonna stack those up like that. Grab a fresh paper towel. And wipe off my palette knife really well. And I'm gonna use the same, I'm gonna do the same thing. And do that. I really dug in right there. I need that all to collect back. I might be able to help it out, but I'm gonna see if I can help it out before I, uh, yeah, see, swing all the paint back. I can probably drizzle some more white right there. Got a little heavy handed with the um, palette knife. Let's give that a torch. I really should have put my gloves back on. That really did not want to um, do anything. No, it did not. You bugger. So now I'm putting white on my palette knife. I wanna see if I can get any of those colors to show up. And there goes the white breaking up again. Son of a bee. All right here, breaking up. Just. <sighs> now I'm getting mad at it. That's ridiculous. Barely, barely tilted. Barely tilted. wiping off my palette knife. Well, if anything, me dorking around with this one will be, me not get rid of this uh, Artist Loft White for sure. 
I'm adding the white because um, it'll help the paint help me be able to uh, tilt without messing up the other one too too much in theory let's see if it breaks up right in there that's what I'm worried about that middle spot right in there it doesn't want to do to anything I'm, I'm gonna cook it if I keep torching it It's still breaking up. I'm getting mad. It's still just shredding. I'm not even doing anything yet and it's shredding. That's all shredded right there. <sighs> not a happy camper. Not a happy camper. I'm gonna get rid of this white. And I've kind of ruined this painting. This is a video unto itself right now. I'm just pouring all the colors into this white and we're gonna flip cup it. Which is the long roundabout way to just do a flip cup. And yes, I know I should have walked away, but I didn't and now I'm paying the price, <laughs> pretty much. All right, I'm gonna ease up on the yellow. But not ease up on the blue. And I just kind of dirty poured the blue into a bleak gloop. Blue green's pretty. Let's see. I want to see what this white does. Wow, I'm probably gonna chicken out and pour it off. Who am I kidding? Hmm, do I want a torch now? I'll go ahead and give it a torch now. Pop some of those bubbles. Oh yeah, plenty of paint now. So let's lose these caterpillars. Oh, I'm gonna lose some of the white cells. Let's take this blue all the way up here. I don't like this blurry section, so that's going to come off. Take it back. Take these white cells off a little bit. Let me stare and see if I want to leave some of this white or not. Let me just look at this a second. Okay, so I've got it like a crooked penis right here, and that won't do. So let me get rid of him. Okay. Well, that worked out. Just getting the excess paint off the bottom. Um, I'm still staring at this, deciding whether or not I like it the way it is, or if I want to take it all the way over. So if I take it all the way over, what's gonna happen? Let's think it through. So come down, this is all gonna stretch out. I'm gonna lose some of this. I 
kind of like this little area here. These are beautiful. The orange, I don't want to lose. And if let me just turn it like a different way for orientation. This is going to be the video. Like three fails and then a flip cup win. <laughs> uh, really, really mad at my, my uh, white. So I'm glad that cup is gone. I think I like it this the way it is because those cells are spectacular up there. Um, I could give like a baby torch up there maybe, but otherwise, I think the only thing I want to lose is like this little bit of mottled white right there. And that's just a little, off you go. Yeah, that's it. But I want to keep those cells, I like them. They're cute. Put this stuff all back in the middle, separate the orange cells. And maybe, let me wipe off my fingers a sec. <laughs> this is like a half hour video for a little eight inch wood round. Um, I'll, just, I'll do a separate video. I have a 10 by 20 that I wanna do that same technique with the negative space. And that's what I'll do. Ooh, I hope that's not too many. Let's see what that does right there. At least it didn't shred up. Oh no, they're cute. I like having different um, size cells on my canvas. And they're getting bigger as I move them around. So that's good. And they're all kinds of different colors. It was like the paint gods decided, okay, we'll give you one because you're struggling so much. Oh yeah, that balanced it all out. Yep. So I didn't have that blank white area. Got like a little cute cust cluster up there. Just open them up, spread them out. Ta-da! I am done, done. Let me get you down. Um, maybe I'll try to do back-to-back -back videos. What's the to-do? <laughs> I'm not talking to you, Echo. <laughs> Um, I'll do. I'm not talking to you. Echo to your to-do list. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll give you guys back-to-back -back videos. I'm gonna um, clean up my mess, start fresh, make up some more colors. I think I'm gonna use these same colors because uh, I like them, and we'll go bigger on a. 10 by 20 with better white paint. Let me get you down. Okay guys, here it is. Uh, let's try to get it without the reflection of my pot lights. Really, really quite pretty, I gotta say. The cells, the orange with the blue. I like I have background with some swirlies. Um, I like my baby cells in that white area. Um, really unhappy with that artist loft uh, titanium white so um, I'm gonna film again and do the 10 by 20 that I have promised it'll just be separate videos and um, yeah I mean there's not much to show you right but the cells look amazing so I'm really quite happy with this little guy let me flip around and say goodbye so full disclosure I played the video back one out while I was cleaning up to see how big of a mistake it was to uh, wreck that first, or I lost count of the third iteration, I think, where I almost had a painting um, with that one section that was really nice. But as I watched it, I did, I think I made the right call because you can't have that much negative space. You need um, balance in your art with the composition. Um, the rule of three definitely applied and three quarters of that painting was nothing but white paint. So it was the right decision to try something to, uh, you know, balance it out or just sometimes you just go for it and it doesn't work out. But anyway, I'm really happy with the um, dried results and uh, I'm going to go film again and get up this uh, 10 by 22. So I'll see you in a bit. Take care and uh, peace out.